Good morning, Friday. Let's get started. Roll your shoulders back and around. If you, like me, are dealing with injuries, please modify. Roll your shoulders forward. Today we've separated everything into three different cozy compartments. Rotate side to side, legs, arms, core, and then we'll see what happens if we have more time. Throw a little punch, pivot on your feet, turn your whole body one side to the other. That's it, eight more, just stretch it out. Seven, six, five, four more. Good, take it to a wide plie, bring the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, sweep it up again, all the way up. Exhale, bend the knees, sweep it all the way up. Keep going with that. Oh, let me change my watch. And do that one more time. Good, hold it in the plie position. Arms up, little pulses with your legs and pulses with your arms back. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three. Hold it down on one. Good, take the arms out to the side. Lunge side to side. Good. Just moving through center. Then rotate your shoulders in and out. Let's hit the 80s with this one. Eight more times, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, hold it on whichever side you landed on. Hold it there. Tiny little pulses. Good. Take the opposite hand onto the floor or your shin or your foot. Rotate open to that side. Hold it there. Now we're gonna keep that positioning as we turn to that side. Mine's my left side, dropping the hip down. Again, rotating through the torso, four more. Good, release your hand, release your knee. Take both hands on the inside of the leg and just shift your weight a little forward. Make sure your heel is still on the floor of the bent knee and you're not sitting directly onto your patella on the leg behind you. Four more, three, two, tuck the toes, lift the knee, come back to center. Bending into the other side, hand on floor shin or your foot, open up. Twist your heart open. Pivot around to that leg, little pulses as we open up. Hold there for four, three, two. Now lower the knee to the floor, both hands on the inside of that leg. Shifting your weight forward, going into the psoas of the back leg. Hold for three, for two, for one. Tuck the back toes underneath you. Pivot around to the front of the room or your front of your space. Take your hands on your thighs. Arch your back. All right, round the back, tailbone tucks. Arch your back. Round your back. Arch your back. Round your back, roll all the way up. Shoulders roll back and around, stretch the arms all the way up. Grab a hold of left wrist with right hand, lift up and over. Inhale, switch sides. All the way back up, oh hi Marie, you got on. Exhale, bend the arms, bend the legs. Hi Cindy, good morning. Arms behind your back, interlace your fingers, turn your toes forward, and then fold over your legs, soft legs as soft, as bent as you need them to be. Arms overhead. Alrighty. Release the arms down to your toes. Lengthen your spine. Put your hands on your thighs or your hips and come to standing. Bring it all the way up. Bring it all the way down. Shake it out. Alright, keep yourselves moving. Now, we're starting with lower body. So it's all lower body exercises. It's six, but we have side to side for some of them. So the first thing we do is clock lunges. That means we go to 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, six o'clock backwards, nine o'clock, back to 12 o'clock. All right, so we start with the right leg forward, side, rear, left leg, rear, side, front. We're just gonna do a couple sets of those. You can use weights. If you want, you can put your hands on your hips, but you know I prefer to have your hands free if possible. Starting on the right leg, front lunge, side lunge, rear lunge. Three, two, let's go. One, 
3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, switch to the other side. Don't worry about the music if you're in time with it. 9 o'clock. If you're not doing lunges, you know you can just step forward. Go back to the 12 o'clock right leg. 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, repeat 6 o'clock, go over to 9 o'clock, back to 12 o'clock, third round here. One, two, three, switch legs. Back, side, front. This is our four set. One, if you're not lunging, step out, step back, step back, almost like a little aerobic move, forward. One more time, front lunge, or whatever you're doing there, rear lunge, rear lunge, nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, shake it out. All right, pick up one heavy weight, two heavy weights, one leg weight, um, you choose. We're gonna do a single leg deadlift. So you can have one heavy weight in two hands, one heavy weight in one hand, no weights at all. Weight in your left leg, right heels up, left arm out for balance. All we're doing is the deadlift part. So go down, one time, come up, down, two, good, three, keep your hip hinge. There's no weight in the right leg, four. Some of you may choose to make this a balance without the right leg on the floor. Halfway through, five more. Five, hinge at your hip, uh, your torso, and hip. Three, two more. Last one here. And all we're gonna do is stand up, switch arms if you have it in one arm, switch legs. Weight in the right leg, left foot is soft, go. One, come all the way up, drive through your heel of the leg that's staying on the ground or straight on the ground, straighter. Three, four, slow down on the way down. Five, slow it down. Six, good, take that full, almost four counts. Seven, eight, two more times. Two, one more time. Good, now you can take two weights again. These are, we're running through the first set. You're coming into a squat calf raise. So again, if you're not squatting, you're doing calf raises. If you're squatting, you have the option to do weights or no weights. You can have your feet wide, closer, a little sumo down in three, two, here we go. So we squat, raise up onto your toes, one, down, two, three, up, four, up, hope you come back, Michelle, five, up, six, all the way on your toes, seven, up, eight, two more times, there you are, one more time. Good. I'm going to keep one weight for a sumo pulse. So we're going to separate our legs, bring your weight underneath your chin, take your feet a little wider than hips, a little turned out. All we're doing is pulsing down. Just for 10. 3, 2, 1, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. That's it. Now, Good news, bad news. We're moving on to the floor for a few moments. So go ahead, grab your mats. If you want bands around your legs, you can put them above your knees. You can even put them below your knees. All right? I'm gonna face you. I'm not using bands. First of all, I broke most of my bands the other day. <laughs> Second of all, I'm working with an injury, so I'm gonna just keep myself without bands. If you did this with me the other day without bands, you know it's still enough. Right leg fire hydrant. Ready, set, come on your knees. We go in four. 
If you don't want to be on your knees, you can do this in a standing position. Two. Here we go. Right side. One. Two. Three. Try not to sink all your weight into the left leg or left hand. Five more. Four. Three. My left toes are tucked under. Two. One more. And then we're going to switch to the other side. So the right toes can stay under. Give yourself enough Space for balance, ready? Three, two, one, left leg up, up. Knee and hip in the same line, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10, good. I'm just gonna turn myself to the side. You can stay on your hands or be on your hand, uh, your forearms. Right leg is gonna stretch out behind you, starting. As you come in, knee to chest, and then extend and kick away, not high. All right, knee to chest, kick out for 10, uh, 10 on the right. In three, two, let's go. In round, extend out, one, two. If you're using the band, good. Three, if you're not, great. Four, just get the most out of your body that you can get. Five, so it's knee in and extend out. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. Left knee in. Three, two, one. Let's go. In, extend, two, extend. Make it powerful on that extension. So really press, especially if you don't have a weight. Use your glutes, squeeze it out. Five more, four more, three more, two more, one more time. Good, child's pose just a moment. So next time we come to the mat, guys, I'm just gonna ask you to adjust your cameras. For right now, it's fine. Let's go back up to standing. Move your mats off to the side if you have the space um, that you don't need to, that's cool. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. All right. All right, so again, if you want to use weights for your clock lunches, you can use weights. I'm not. I'm choosing the path of left re rest resistance for myself right now, but I encourage you to use them, okay? Place them by your side, put your shoulders over your head, on your thighs. All right, we go back to clock lunges, starting with the right leg at tw uh, 12 o'clock. In four, three, two, here we go. One, side lunge, it's three o'clock. Rear lunge, six o'clock. Do another six o'clock on the other side. Nine o'clock, and back to 12 o'clock. Good, this is set two. Right side first. Good, we got daytime. Then we got nighttime. Well, we have morning all around. All right, this is our third set. Well, we have nighttime all around. Over. Back. Back. Side. Front. Remember, if you're not doing a full lunge, you can just do this forward movement. Yeah? Just like you're doing a little aerobics. All right, La one more time. Right side, left side, uh, right side again. Back, switch legs, still six o'clock, nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, one more round. Right side, out to the side, back. Last one, six o'clock, nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, good. Let's go back to our single-legged deadlift. One hand, weights, two hands, no weights at all. Right leg is bent, and it can also be off the floor if you choose to hinge, all right? Weight in your left leg, left arm off of you. In three, two, one, let's go. One. You know where one. Two. Take your time on the way down. Three. That's better. Four. 
five, six, and it's the elevator, so I break you down. Seven, name that tune. Eight, here's the beauty. We're gonna go two more, and then we're gonna switch right into the other side. One more time. Good, switch legs, switch arms if you're using a single weight. Go. 10. Nine, chest is out, hips are back. Eight, there you go. Seven, remember it's not a squat. Six. Five, oh no. Four. Three, really drive into that standing heel. Two more. And one more. Good. All right, squat with a um, calf raise. I'm gonna actually just keep it the way I did with my sumos. So I'm gonna hold the weight under my chin. But you can hold two weights by your side, at your shoulders or over your head. I'm just, you know, combining, you know, I'm just multitasking. All right, squat with a calf raise. Three, two, go. One, on your toes. Two, oh no. Three, four, five, let's go. Six, seven, eight. You can make the squat any squat you want. One more. And then we're gonna take it to a sumo squat, one weight underneath your chin if you haven't done that. Feet a little bit wider than hips, a little turn out, little pulses in four, three, two, go. Pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 onto your floor. Let's go. Make everything work. All right, here we go. I need to be this way. All right. Right fire hydrant. If you're using a band above the knee or if you need to, below the knee, but not on the knee. Left toes are tucked under as the right hip lifts up. Everybody adjust your cameras. Thank you, Sin. Three, two, go. Ten. Nine. Stay evenly distributing the weight in both arms. Six. Five, four, three, two, one more. There you go. One, you're back, Cindy. Good. Other side, right toes tuck under. Three, two, one, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two more, one more, good. Flip it over on your hands or on your forearms. Don't flip it over, I just had to flip it over, sorry. You don't need to move. Right knee to chest, round and curl, left toes tucked under, and then push it away. Three, two, go. In, flex and extend. Two, and extend, push it out. Three, round your back. Out, four, out. Imagine that something heavy is behind you and you're pushing it away, six. Slow it down, seven, extend the leg. So not only up to the sky, but out. It doesn't have to be up, but it has to be out. Nine, good, in, 10 to the floor. Switching legs in three, two, one, go in. Press out one, round and curl, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more is ten. Sit on your heels, stretch it out a little bit. All right. 
Let's move on to our upper body. So we'll start standing. Um, first exercise is rows. Bent over but high rows. So it's not an upright row. And the rows are not just by your rib cage now, they're just a little bit higher as the elbows still pull back behind you. So use your weights accordingly, right? You can always change up your weights, heavier or lighter. So get two weights. All right, we're in a bent over position. Knees are bent, chest is out, hips are back. Get ready, three, two, go. Pull back, one, two, three, four, five, good, six, yeah guys, perfect, seven, eight, nine, ten, stand up, shake it out, stretch out your neck, bicep curls, so you can go single arms if you need to, you can take your palms down and rotate as you bring your shoulders up, or keep your palms facing open the entire time. In four, three, two, here we go. Just 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, feel free to let go of your weights for a second. Next exercise is a hammer curl, so still bicep. Hammer to, so you're gonna hammer it up, rotate overhead, down. Actually, we're gonna rotate this way. Right, hammer, pivot, rotate. Sorry, that was my, my mistake. All right, hammer time with an overhead press, so you might have to adjust your weights for the overhead for some of us, all right? We go in four, three, two, here we go. Hammer, rotate one, down, rotate two, good. Three, pivot on the outside leg, four, so the leg pivots the, the opposite side that you're turning. Five, six, seven, Eight, just two more guys. Make sure you're not arching backwards. If you have to, you lean a little forward. Nine, one more. 10, good, take it to the floor. Keep your weight um, heavy if you need heavier weights for your chest. That's good, it's a big muscle. I'm gonna change my weights down here because my back is not as involved. All right, come down onto the floor. Okay, I think you can see me, everybody. We start with just a chest press. When I say just a pr chest press, I mean just our traditional neutral position chest press. You all know you can have your hips in the air for a bridge. You could be on your back. You could have your legs up for tabletop straight leg or bent leg. Arms are up over your chest. Ready, go. One. Up, I'm going slow. Two, up, three, up. Four, belly and ribs down. If your hips are in the air, don't sink your hip back. Two more times. Last time. Good, bring your arms down. Let your arms rest like mine are doing so you're not putting too much stress on your shoulders. Readjust your legs, we're going for chest flies. So bring the arms up, whatever you're choosing to do with your legs. Again, slow on the way out. Four, three, two, one, go. One, in. So the back wants to arch here, keep it down by bringing your ribs down towards your Hips, draw your belly button to your spine. Lift up your pelvic floor muscles. Five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Again, rest your arms. If you want, you can sit all the way up and just take them down and do a little stretch here. Skull crushes are our next. So, you could have two weights or one heavy going to your forehead. You could have two weights going to the front of your shoulders. Some of you want to take your arms all the way behind you. Just don't move the shoulders. Just bend the elbows. All right? Same thing with the legs. can be bent on or off the floor or in a bridge. All right? All right, I'm gonna start my first set. I'm gonna do with my two weights together at my forehead. Three, two, go. Bend the elbows, straighten the arms. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Bend your knees. Okay. Joe, are you there? All right, she'll be back. Bend your knees. Now, there you are. Bent over rows with a high pull. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two. I'm still pulling my arms up, but you can do it this way. Three, four, five. Oops, visitor. Six, seven, Eight, two more. Nine, ten, stand up. Bicep curls. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Move slowly. Six, especially if you have heavy weights. And if you actually, if you have light weights, Eight, slow down on the way down. Nine, and 10, good. All right, we've got the hammer to an overhead press. So my concern is not the hammer, it's the overhead press and what goes on in your back. So for me, I'm gonna lighten my weights just to go overhead. Get ready, shoulders back. Hammer to overhead with rotation in four, three, two, one, go. One, pivot. Good. Two. Again. Three. Four. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Last two. Two. One more time. And that's it, on the floor. Go back down. Starting with our chest press. Chest press. Choose the way you want your legs to be. Adjust your camera so I can see you. Please. If I say please, will it be better? All right. On your back. Arms up, palms up. Tilt your pelvis if you're staying on the floor or you're going into a bridge and keep your hips up or legs are over in tabletop. Ready to go in four, three, two, let's go. One, up, I'm going slow, two, up. So your work is on the way up. Good, three, down, four, Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Rest your arms. Rest your legs if you'd like. We're going to do flies. All right, same thing with the legs. Arms up. Whatever you're doing with your legs. Four, three, two. Open. Close. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Uh-oh. Seven. Eight, nine, last one. Good, relax your arms. You can sit up and do that little stretch again. We're gonna go back to our skull crushers. Again, you're either gonna go to your skull, to your front shoulder. Some of you like to just touch right behind your head on the floor or behind your shoulders on the floor. Not behind your head so much. All right, so let's get there. On your back, arms up. We go in four, three, two. Here we go. One, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, two more, nine, one more, uh-oh, and down. Nice, guys, all right. Stretch your shoulders back. I'm gonna keep you on the floor for now. Um, keep a weight nearby, probably. We're gonna start with just good old-fashioned crunches. All right, so we're gonna start with our feet on the floor, on your back. Hands behind your head, lifting your head and shoulders up. Look down your belly, all the way down towards your knees. Head and shoulders are up, now we lift from there. Let's go for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more time. Hold it up, pulse it. Nine, eight, seven, keep a steady gaze. Five, four, three, two, one, hold, and let it go. Bring your knees into your chest. All right, knees are bent over the hips, arms are over your shoulders. Arms and legs extend, head and shoulders are up, and then we come back in. Now, we, if you can, keep your head and shoulders off the floor for the entire 10 reps. If you can't, bring it down and come on back in. Work up to it, all right? Here we go in three, two, let's go. 10, now, the lower your legs go, the more stress on your back, which is not to say it's bad in case you have a really strong back, you can go lower. If you have any issues with your back, keep your legs a little higher. Four more. Three. Two. One. Hug it in. Good. Feet are on the floor. This one's a full sit-up. If you can't do a full sit-up, you're going to come here, opposite elbow to opposite knee. If you can sit all the way up, you're going to come up and across and up and across. Now I'm just having a little um, thing going on in my back, so I'm actually gonna stay on the floor today for this one, all right? Otherwise, you guys are coming up, twisting, coming up, twisting. You go all the way down, I did not go all the way down. All right, on your back. Ready? Here we go. One, two. If you're not on my count, that's okay. You do 10 of them, five, Six, seven, I'll go halfway down. 
eight, nine, and 10. Good, all right. So, all right. Take a weight and come, on to, come into a plank. Does, does it matter really how heavy it is? It kinda does. So take a moderate weight. Some of you will just stay on your knees. You're gonna pull the weight. You're not lifting it up, you're really dragging it across over to the other side. Pull from one side to the other side, all right? So wherever you start your weight, let's try to start it on the same side. So start your weight on your right side and you're gonna pull with your left arm. So you're either gonna go into a plank position or you're gonna stay on your knees, all right? Toes tuck under if you're on your um, toes. Three, two, Good. Drag it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come down. Not so bad. All right. We're going to stay on our knees. Cross body chop. So if you need to be standing or you need to be sitting on your heels, that's okay. We're gonna take the weight from one side to the other, chopping, all right? Right side first, four, three, two, one, two, three, four. You can also have one leg out in front, five, six, Seven, make sure it's the leg that's opposite you. Nine to eight, nine, 10. So meaning put the leg that's going to the side that you're rotating to, right? Or stay on your knees or sit on your heels. Weight up the left shoulder. Three, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're on our backs. Last time. Yeah, I know I'm bringing you up and down. Now, we've got a pullover, full range of motion with a pullover, to a cross chop. Some of you are free, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do it today, to sit all the way up and chop. Maybe I can, we'll see. So it's a pullover, chop in the center of your legs. Or it's a pullover, chop in the center of your legs from this position, right? So you're either doing a full sit up or not, all right? Hold on to your weight. You can hold it in either position, whatever feels right to you. One or two weights is fine. On your back to start. Also, if you don't want to be, um, if you know you're not coming up to a full sit up, you can do it with your legs in the air and chop through the center of your legs. Start with the arms overhead in three, two, here we go. Over, chop. Two, three, four, five, six. So you choose which way you're going. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on up. Take some water. We got our second round of that coming up. Starting with a crunch. You choose now. Do you want your crunch legs on the floor or in the air, bent or straight? So you can do it any which way. All right, come onto your backs. Looking good. All right. Hands behind your head. Knees are over your hips, so they're not all the way over your chest. You got that nice right angle. Knee hip, hip knee. Uh, knee ankle. Head and shoulders up. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, hold it up on one, hold, and pulse for 10. Nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold on, one, five, four, three, let go of your arms, two, and one, knees in. All right, double leg stretches. Legs are up, arms are up, head and shoulders are up. We extend arms and legs. Now, again, if your lower back is an issue, keep your legs higher. You don't have to straighten the legs all the way out. But if you have a healthy lower back and you can go lower, I want you to go there just for you, okay? Knees over hips, arms up, head and shoulders up. Three, two, one, we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more. Ma, ma, I'm not sure. And one. All right, next one is either you're coming up to a sit up, cross body, I'm not gonna be able to go all the way down, you should go all the way down. Or you stay on your back and you cross your legs opposite sides, all right? Ready? Four, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Onto your hands and knees, swing it around, starting with the weight under your right side, pulling through to the other side. You're either on your knees or in a full plank. Ready, take your toes under, stretch your legs wide so your hips don't wobble. You don't wanna be up here, you don't wanna be collapsed. Four, three, two, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kneeling chops. One leg, two legs, sit on your heels, stand up. Those are your choices. So if it's my right shoulder, it's my left leg that's out in front of me. We go in four, three, let's go. 12, 10, nine, eight, don't know where that came from. Seven, the other day I think. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Switching sides. If you don't have to switch legs, that's fine. Four, three, two, one, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Back onto your back. Pullovers with that crunch. Legs can be on the floor in the air, or you can do a full sit up, bringing the arms in between your two legs. All right. Pick up your weight. Gonna have some yarn. All right. On your backs. Arms up, pull all the way over your back or your head, and chop through the center, one. Or sit up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, breathe. Nine and ten. Nice job, guys. All right, I don't think we need any weights. Moving on. Take your water break if you need it. I'm just going to actually adjust and mat a little bit this way. All right, we're gonna go onto our bellies. Onto your belly. So, hmm, give it to me, baby, on your belly. All right. I'm gonna have a modified movement here, just because I don't have the room, really, of swimming. So I want you to push your pubic bone down, lengthen your legs and arms, 
and we're gonna alternate for 10 swimmers, right? If not, you can just lift your um, upper and lower body up and hold. All right, we'll be doing some of that anyway. Ready to go? In four, three, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, arms down. Legs up, legs are wide, lifting up just your lower body, so bring your head and chin down, or chest and chin down. Lift your heels up, lift your legs up, nice strong legs, tap your heels together. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Relax it, shake it out. Arms out. A little wider than your shoulders, a little wider, maybe even off your mat. All we're gonna do is lift our torso up and down, all right, for little cobra push-ups. In three, two, go. I'm on the balls of my fingertips. One, two, three, four. Good, this is for those of us who don't get enough in our back side of our body. Seven, eight, nine. Push all the way back to your child's pose. All right, onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Hips come up in the air, chest towards your thighs. And then all we're gonna do is shift to a plank position and here. If you're not doing that, you can bend your knees and stay in a down dog, just alternating heels. All right, so see where you need to be or maybe you're on your knees for it. But we're going there in a second. In four, three, two, strong legs guys. Pull your knees up, plank, one, two. Try to get your tailbone and your head in the same one. Don't collapse through your center. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Three, two, one. Knees down. All right. Last round in this before we repeat. We've got a child's pose into a push-up on your knees, okay? You wanna go up straight legs, that's fine, but it's meant to be on your knees, even if you can do straight legs. All right, so start with a long child pose, arms out in front of you. As you come up, you shift shoulders over wrists to a push-up, one. Sit back, two. Your arms can be wide or close, it's up to you. Three, but where would you be in a, you know, a long child's pose? Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. One more and we'll stay in child's pose to rest. Sit all the way back. Last round, guys, this is it. Come to your belly. Come into your swimmers. If you're not swimming, maybe just lift your arms and legs like super person. My arms are bent, your arms can be straight or bent. Your legs are back behind you straight. And we're not kicking from the knee, we're kicking from the glutes. All right, so don't bend your knees so much as stretch out of your hips. Ready, set, swimming. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Head down on, or chin down on your hands. Legs strong and long. Heels up, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, shake it out. Just turn your toes in, shift your hips a little side to side. Then bring your hands in line with your chest. Fingertips only, and the arms may be off the mat, a little bit wider. 
Push down through the top of your foot, shin, and your pubic bone. We go in four, three, two. Here we go. One, and down. Two. Won't you tell me? Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Push back to your heels. Lift your hips up in the air for downward facing dog. Into plank. Maybe you're just holding a plank. Maybe you're holding a down dog. Or some variation thereof. Toes tuck. Hips up. Three, two, go. Just plank. Hold. And one. Hold. Two. Shoulders over wrists. Knees are lifted. Three. No collapsing through your middle part. And no butt in the air. Five. Look forward. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one, please. Ten. Go to your knees. Sit back in child's pose. Final exercise with us today. Child's pose to a push-up. Maybe you're just staying here. Maybe you're doing those cobra push-ups again. Get something out of it. Maybe you're just in a forearm plank. In four, three, two, let's go. Push-up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we end up in child's pose, nine, and we finish up child's pose, sit back on your heels all the way, uh, relax, bring the arms by your side now, palms face up, Take your arms behind your back, interlace your fingers, palms together, forehead to the knees, top of the head to the floor, and perhaps you lift up onto your shins, lift the arms with you. Keep the arms up, sit back on your heels, and then relax the arms. Chin, chest, roll up. Good, sweep your legs out in front of you. Come back onto your backs, please. And hug both knees into your chest. Good. Hug them in all the way. Left leg bent on the floor, right ankle above left knee. Flex your foot and then bring the leg back up. Hold on underneath your hamstring, or if you have the flexibility, hold on to your shin. As you bring the left knee in, nudge, push the right leg away. Deep stretch into the glute. Another breath. Lower your left foot to the floor. Cross your right leg all the way over and move your knees to the left side. Nice spinal twist, also getting a little length through that outer hip glute. Uncross legs, come back to center, hug the knees in. Left ankle above right knee, place the right leg on the floor. Just get the positioning, press against your uh, ankle and your inner thigh, and then lift the leg off the floor. Hold it underneath your thigh, shin parallel to the floor. Pull in and push away at the same time. Deep, 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 deep stretch. Breathe. Right leg comes down, left leg crosses all the way over, and both knees come over to the right side.
uncross the legs, come back to center, hug your knees, little happy baby, bend the knees, hold on to the bottoms of your feet wherever you'd like, tailbone is on the floor, knees are on the outside of your ribcage, maybe you walk and rock a little side to side. And bring the knees together. Roll to either side or come straight up and over. Come to your hands and knees. Just do another cat cow here. Round and curl. And then sit back. Come into a standing forward fold. Grab opposite elbows. And maybe you sway. And switch the cross of the arms. Let go of your arms, let them go, dangle, chin to chest, roll up. If you have time to do more flexibility stretching, do that. Take your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Give yourselves a great big hand. You guys at home are done. You stay home, stay fit, stay healthy, get vaccinated.